This is a rundown of the viola part for the grotto by Todd Parrish, which is a real, really, really cool piece. Um, and unfortunately, this is one of these pieces for viola that viola really doesn't get melody. But the viola part is very important because uh, one of the things I like to think of the instrument really doing for the orchestra is actually weaving the cello bass line and the viola line together to make the whole orchestra really fit with the harmony and with the motion of the music. So it's very, do not think your part is unimportant, but think your part as actually crucial to keeping everyone really together. Um, as you're learning this piece, you're going to actually notice that the majority of your notes take place on the D string. So you're going to be using the two, three hand shape really the entire time. And the only times you actually go to the G string will be uh, between measures 11 and 18 and 29 and 36. Um, and you'll be playing either an open G, first finger A, or a second finger B. As I revealed on the violin two video for this piece, it's uh, you're really gonna be keeping this two, three hand shape the entire time. You can actually technically go into the three, four hand shape for the G string, which would be great practice for you, but is totally not necessary right now. But in the event that you get a D major scale later on in your life, which is highly likely, and you really wanna actually be ready for that third finger C sharp pushed away from second finger, practice that hand shape. Wouldn't be a bad thing to actually do. Um, so, um, as, I, as I said in the violin two part, it's uh, more power to you because it'll really help you out in the future. Um, as you're practicing this piece, always practice with metronome. Be aware of the half rests, quarter rests, which get two beats and one beat respectively, as well as the dotted half notes, which get three beats, half, half notes, which get two beats, and your quarter notes, which get one beat. So I'm gonna go ahead and hit the metronome and I'm gonna get started with this one. You can certainly play along with me if you like. This is the grotto. Here's the beginning. One, two, ready. And... So that is the viola part, and uh, which is, once again, really, really cool part, um, especially how it brings the violin one and violin two part together, and it brings the cellos and bass part up to them as well. So I really do look at it as, look at it as the needle with the thread that goes through and brings everything together and holds it all in place. Um, you will have noticed that uh, there were times that I actually did fourth finger D on the G string rather than open D, especially at measure 11 and when it came back 15, um, and it's marked as fourth finger at 18. Um, I just feel like it's actually easier to shape those uh, notes when they're closed rather than open, especially when there's a half rest after them. So that's why I chose to do that. You can certainly do open 
Or you can challenge yourself to really go fourth finger as well, which is not a bad thing to do because it will really help set you up for vibrato practice in the future. Um, as always, happy practicing and good luck.